Welcome everyone to Microsoft Research Summit 2021. Uh, I'm Mandana Sami. I'm a PhD student at McGill University and Miller Institute working with Black Richards and uh, Doina Prika. Uh, today I'm going to talk about efficient organization in continual reinforcement lear uh, learning using episodic memory. Uh, I'm going to start with just a really brief overview of uh, reinforcement learning. So reinforcement learning is concerned with this really foundational concept of how an agent can intelligently learn to make a good sequence of decisions. RL performs in an interactive closed loop process where we have an intelligent agent that is taking actions and these actions are affecting the state of the environment and it's giving back a reward and uh, observation. Uh, the key goal here is to maximize the total expected future rewards, and this will form a decision policy, which is a mapping from uh, information about the board to what we should do next. So this sort of uh, summarizes what reinforcement learning is. Uh, there has been a significant paradigm shift in reinforcement learning over the past few years and we have seen a huge improvement in the techniques that are developed in reinforcement learning and in the scale of the problems that are being tackled. In NORIPS 2020, there was a competition called Mine RL on sample efficient reinforcement learning using human priors. The goal of this competition was to develop a system to obtain a diamond in Minecraft using only four days of training. As you may know, some of the RL algorithms can take months to obtain uh, human performance. Video games are very interesting examples of uh, sort of complex tasks that take human players a while often to learn. We don't know how to play them in advance. It often takes us a little bit of experience to master these games. And Minecraft is a compelling domain for improving the reinforcement learning methods because of these certain challenges. So. Uh, there is a continual generation of the word happening in Minecraft composed of discrete blocks uh, allo allowing modifications over the course of the game where players can change the environment by uh, collecting certain items such as wood, uh, cooking equipments, and constructing structures such as villages, shelters, uh, etc. And uh, because of these variations in the environment and their dynamic, it provides similar challenges as real world uh, problems where there is uh, non-stationarity in the world and uh, data available is limited due to time constraints. Uh, so what could be a potential solution to these challenges? The approach we would like to take here is partly inspired by the hypothesized role of the hippocampus in decision making and conceptions from episodic memory. The term episodic memory um, was first introduced by Endel Tulving in 1972 to emphasize the distinction between two types of memory. One is knowing the factual information, known as semantic memory, and the other is remembering uh, events from the past called episodic memory. Episodic memory contains uh, specific personal experiences, including uh, events in our life, people's places, emotions, uh, etc. Uh, we can think of episodic memory as a mean to travel uh, through time and recall personal experiences that are an important part of our life. Uh, one of the uh, fundamental advancements in improving sample efficiency in reinforcement learning has been known as neural episodic control, or in short, NEC. The way uh, NEC works is by keeping the history of past experiences and reusing them in the future. Uh, what the really incredible thing about this method was is that the agent uses a dictionary of uh, its experiences of the environment, which includes some uh, of episodic memory features, including long-term memory and context-based search over the stored events. The agent learns the embedding directly from um, from the pixel input uh, using uh, convolutional neural network, and then it stores embedding and their values in, uh, in a dictionary. To select an action, it computes a weighted sum of the values stored in, uh, in this dictionary. 
Uh, also, the weighting coefficients are uh, often determined by a similarity between query and the keys stored um, in the dictionary. So this plot is showing uh, the performance of neural episodic control on Pong, which is a table tennis two-dimensional video game manufactured by Atari. Uh, NEC outperforms the other algorithms in terms of data efficiency, but less on the uh, maximum uh, achieved score. As expected, the reuse of experience brings this immediate advantage of better sample efficiency. So far, the main approach to implement an episodic memory was using a dictionary data structure, uh, which has a linear search time and it's not computationally efficient, in many cases where the uh, number of stored items are fairly large. Also, the standard implementation of episodic memory do not generalize well to new tasks where the sensory inputs are different from distribution uh, that the um, agent is trained on, or the data available is limited. So uh, therefore, despite the recent progress made by episodic memory in reinforcement learning, especially on the speed of learning, efficient generalization still is an open area for future exploration. Uh, we propose here to use contextual memory tree, or in brief CMT, to uh, replace the dictionary in episodic memory implementation. I briefly explain what CMT is. CMT is a nearly balanced tree that uh, contains internal nodes and leaves. Each internal node contains a router where uh, learns the best route to the memories stored in the leaves. Uh, with every query, routers are updated online to retrieve relevant memories and ensures the uh, balance between its left and right subtree. And besides that, we have uh, scorers in, um, in the leaves that decides which memories to return based on uh, an external driver signal. Uh, so with this three data structure, we should uh, be able to provide episodic uh, recall in logarithmic time, which is much more efficient than the standard dictionaries used traditionally. So what we have discussed would largely improve the computational efficiency of the current episodic control, but we have uh, still some works to do regarding the efficient generalization in RL. Consider a scenario where the agent needs to learn to play tennis and racquetball, both in the court and some video games. For such a task, we need some form of generalization so that when the agent run into particular configurations of pixels that it has never seen before, it can still know what to do next. So one way to reach this form of generalization is to learn um, generic schemas per game that can be embedded into an external inference algorithm such as a CMT. So, um, these predictive schemata can be then extended in hierarchies for selectively uh, transferring knowledge to new sensory observations. Uh, I'm concluding the talk with the following notes. Uh, we propose here that embedding predictive schemas into contextual memory tree as an external learning algorithm would be a powerful technique to improve both sample efficiency and generalization. As the next step, we like to explore how these embedded predictive schemas can be modeled. They can play the role of uh, decision policies to select actions or perform as predictive models to estimate future states. A neuroscience evidence of such a mechanism is how semantic and episodic memories help each other to remember specific events, suggesting that semantic knowledge of a task can provide a framework for episodic learning. So these rules might also remind us of semantic memory. Uh, with that, I would like to thank you for your attention.